Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about using tools to speed up your process as a developer, but you have to be careful by reading their licenses. Okay. If you really don't want to get sued or you really don't want to, you know, lose some money out here. Okay. So let's get started guys. Uh, today I got into this topic because, uh, you know, a couple of my team members in my agency, other developers, they were like, man, Joe, can can, can we use some Tailwind CSS? Um, I, I know you're a bootstrap guy, but can we please get some Tailwind? And I said, yeah, bro, I ain't got no problem. Go use some Tailwind. Whatever you want to use the tail and put it in the wind, go ahead. Whatever makes your life easier and could make me money. Bro, I got no problems. Okay. Now, again, in this digital agency, what we do is we create uh digital products like templates themes landing pages um etc right and then also too we might do some freelance work from fiber upwork uh etsy right so again this guys their job is to create okay now we're looking for tools that will make our lives easier and that we can actually go and sell that code to a client or sell that code to you know a customer that's looking to just buy and purchase you know, whatever product it is that we built. Right. And I start looking around and I start going even to the Tailwind CSS uh, website. Right. And I'll show you guys right now. Um, if you go into Tailwind, okay, show you right here. This is Tailwind CSS and you click on components, right? It brings you to tailwindui.com. And again, shout out to them. Uh, great service. The components look great. Uh, but at the same time, once you go in and you look into the, the licenses, right, of this product, you start noticing something. It says basically here, okay, uh, examples of usage not allowed by the license, okay? Uh, basically, you cannot create a website builder from the project, right? which that's totally understandable, right? Because if you could go in and create a, a website builder and you're generating the components for the, the person, why the hell will they come in and sign up to tell when you So that one makes sense. But then you come down here and you start reading through creating a theme template or project starter kit using the components or templates and making it available either for sale or for free creating an admin tool like Laravel Nova or active admin that is made available either for sale or for free. So at that point, I got to slow down. I got to say, hold on, tell when you I, I love what you guys is doing, but why the hell would somebody ever use this product? Why would somebody go in and sign up to tell when you I, when in reality, if you wanted to sell your, your, code or you wanted to create a template you wanted to create a theme or you wanted to uh do something with this components you can't really do much you can't you can't sell it okay so again who is this really for i can imagine somebody who is doing like a software as a service right that's like you're creating uh, uh basically one product right let's think of it as one product that's your website and you can use the components and you could use it within your website and unlimited uh, sections, wherever you want to use it, you could go ahead and use it. And, and that's great. Okay. But for people like me and probably for people like you, that's freelancing, that is, um, you know, selling digital products, etc. Like this is not the way to go. This is not the one you want to be using. Okay. Um, this is another one that I really liked and kind of let me down that the, the license was like this also. And shout out to the guy who created the service too. Again, I don't want to throw no shade to them. I just want to bring awareness that this licenses might not be good for the majority of people. Now, again, they're like privately owned businesses, privately owned uh, services where, you know, you, you could do whatever you want with your code. So again, at the, at the end of the day, it's like they could do whatever they want. But for me, I'm looking at this. I'm like, hold on. Does not permit taking templates or parts of the templates to sell on stock markets or share for free so um to me when i look at this i'm like so what am i paying for i'm only paying for being able to use it on one website or saying hey i can only use it for my own websites that i'm creating for my own company 
But then now if I want to go in and sell it to somebody on a marketplace like Theme Forest or Etsy or any of these platforms, I can't use it. So then that's why I said, you know what? I got to step away from this, you know, and I'm bringing this up for all of you guys is because uh, the people that kept telling me, hey, you got to go to Daisy UI. You got to go to uh Tailwinds UI, you got to go to uh, Dev Dojo Tales, and you got to use this, this, and that. There was a lot of people who told me, you got to go use the services. And I'm like, I don't think you guys understand what you're using. I mean, by the license. Again, sometimes people do not enforce licenses. I mean, who the hell is going to be after people on the internet? Be like, hey, man, you, you actually use my code for your template and your thing. Very rarely. But if you actually make enough money, and it's worth their while, they'll come back for your ass. You get what I'm saying? They'll come back for your ass and be like, hey, man, um, you, you use this on a theme. You use this on a template. Oh, this shit is popular now. Now, I'm telling you this from experience. Um, maybe like, I don't know, two, three years ago, I go in, sign up. I use somebody's theme, um, um, theme forest, right? Uh, early stages. I go in, use somebody's Steam, and then I get a letter from a company that is basically their own licenses for uh, fonts, fonts, you know, text, fonts, the way how they look, right? The typography. And they hit me up with the, the WUAP. They said, hey, buddy, uh, guess what? You're using uh, one of our fonts, and you got to pay for that license. And it shows that you've been using it for about a week so you're gonna have to pay for the license for the year now the license was five hundred dollars now mind you i just bought this theme from somebody i go in and i hit up the theme creator and the theme creator comes back in and says oh i'm so sorry we didn't know the licenses said that we can go in and use it for commercial use but it's commercial use on their own websites, meaning like, hey, if you're using, if you're creating like a software as a service, for example, um, you know, shout out to uh, the homie, um, this kid, uh, Levels.io, right? If Levels.io comes in and uses a font or a UI library or something like that, any of this assets that's out here, right? And he uses any of those things and he uses it on his website, right? If he's using it for this application, which is for him, he owns the company, right? Everything is fine. But if you are a developer that's creating for other people, you got to be careful with these licenses because this is how they get you. Now, again, I don't know if this is something that this is the, the gotcha of like Tailwind's UI, but I'll be honest, it, it left me with a little sour taste in my mouth where I'm like, hold on, bro. I, I, I'm not really trusting them no more. Now, again, this is open and they're already telling you what it is. But the, for me, the way I look at it is like, yo, if I want to use a component library, I might use the shit to sell shit. So at that point, why the fuck? And I'm sorry, I'm cursing, but why the fuck would I use your service if you already telling me, yo, you can't sell this shit. You could use it for you. Now, uh, again, I'm going to give you another example. This is a website called splice.com, right? And, and sometimes... I don't know. Sometimes it, we got to bring it down to other different uh, genres of, of like business. So people can understand this it, it make a little bit more sense for just the average person. Right. Again, most of the people that's coming to my channel are brand new developers, beginners. So I have to give them an example like this um, in case that some people might not get it. But splice.com is a website where what they do is they sell templates of like MIDI chords. They also sell sounds like samples. They also sell like, uh, you know, uh, basically starter kits to start making music. Okay. This is pretty much the same thing as a tell when you I as a deaf dojo. And, uh, and again, I'm sorry. I'm using their name is because those are two of the main ones that everybody was telling me, yo, you got to use this ones. I guess they are the top ones that people recommend, but Again, think of it like this. Splice.com is doing the same thing that they do, but in the music genre, right? Music genre, right? Where you come in, you sign up to the service, 
you're paying a fee. You either pay monthly or you pay a one-time fee, right? And basically what you're getting is royalty-free samples, industry-leading software, expert-led tutorials, etc. Pretty much the same thing that a lot of uh, other companies are using or providing, but in development. Now imagine this. I'm a producer, right? And I go to splice.com and I sign up to splice.com. And I'm thinking, hey, I can use the sounds that splice.com is giving me and i can make my own beats right i can make my own music right but if they tell me hey joe you could come to splice.com and the sounds that you're gonna use and the midis that midi chords that you're gonna use you can only use it for you you cannot sell those beats now this whole product is useless it's useless because then now you're limiting me. That means that I got to be like my own rapper. I got to be my own singer. I, I can only rap in my own beat. I can't go in and create my own beat out of your samples and your midi packs and go in and sell it as a new product because that's what it really is. If I go in and I use um, any of the services, right, and I create, uh, I'm using one of their components, for example, coming here, let me, you know, get some of these templates and let's say for example um i use this template right and i come in i change the word change everything that's in here right change the images change maybe the order of everything how this is right and i'm creating my own type of website i'm just using your components as a starter kit guess what i should own this shit this is mine this is what i paid you for now if i can't do that I don't want it. This is where we got to be careful right now. I'm telling you guys ahead of time, because just like I told you about the, the font situation for somebody like right now, when you're small, when you're nobody, when nobody knows you from a hole in the wall and you're small, somebody could come in and be like that, man. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, you're using my, my components, etc. But then now, you know, you could use it for your personal projects. Nobody cares when you have three views, right? But if you go in and you have a website that's getting a million views and it's generating, let's say, $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, and you're not taking care of those licenses and you're not paying attention to that shit, there, there's people out here that's, they're, they let you grow and they're like this, doing the Birdman hand rub, okay? Doing the Birdman hand rub, letting you live, letting you grow. It's like the feds. You know what I mean? They let you eat on the corner for a little bit so they could build a big case on you. It's the same way. So you just got to be careful with the licenses. Now, uh, again, this is not me throwing shade to tell when you are. This, their service is great. Uh, Dev Dojo is, is great. All of the stuff that they have, they work perfectly. You know what I mean? It's the licenses where I'm like, I'm concerned. Because then now, if you don't, I could imagine like a young kid, young developer come in, but yeah, I could use this thing. I could just sign up to this thing and shoot, I just put it to my website. Hey, uh, you need a website and go in and you do it for your clients. Now you go in and, and make up websites for them. Now you go in and, and you say, hey, maybe this, this style, this template that I created for this person, I could go in and make it into its own theme. Let me go put in theme for us. They'll let you live. But once you reach a certain level and be like, okay, let's, let's throw the lawyers at them. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah. Now, what's the solution to this? This is the one that I found that works. Okay. This is the one that, that works for us. You know, again, telling you why, uh, Dev Dojo, all, all of those is gonna work perfectly if you're just doing it for like a software as a service or you're using it for your own product, right? That uh, your own product that you're gonna create and you're using for yourself. They work perfectly for that. Again, for people like me and you, that we might not be going on, going on that route, or we might be doing a lot of different things at once, freelancing, you know, selling products, digital products, right? Selling templates, selling themes, etc. right? You just got to be careful. This might be the answer for you, okay? Now, what I like about this is the license on it. This is Shuffle, 
right? So this is the service. It's a uh, you know online builder. You could go in, drag and drop, get you started, start building pages quickly. Um, you know, just to get you up and running. Again, this is not like hey, I'm just gonna do this, drag and drop on, on everything. You're gonna have to go in, and tweak certain things, and, and customize it how you want it, right? Of course, but it's a great starting point. Now, again, what I like about it is the license. Very straightforward, no gotchas, no, you know what I mean? No nothing. And again, I'm not even, you know, I'm not connected to these people. I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting nothing, right? But here you go. It says number of end products, right? Unlimited. Number of end products, unlimited. Use for personal or client. Yes. Using free end products can have multiple users. Yes. Using end product that is sold. Yes. Can have multiple paying users. Yes. Using derivative templates. Meaning this is where you can go in and say, hey, I could go and create a template out of this thing. Right. Customize it, make it my own. Right. And literally go in, repackage it up and sell it to somebody. Guess what? Yes, I can do that. So again, can you use it in generators? Hell no. <laughs> All right, that's where nobody's gonna let you use that one. It's like, yo, you're gonna use it in your own generator, right? In your own editor. Nah, we ain't gonna let you rock, right? But again, this is where you gotta go in and you know, you gotta pay attention to the licenses. Again, this is no shade to nobody. I'm just I wanna go in and warn my audience, right? Because my audience is hustlers like me trying to build their own businesses trying to go on fiber trying to go to upwork trying to go to create their own software as a service trying to create their own shopify apps trying to go in and create shopify apps for other people you know what i'm saying and guess what if you go in and you're going to use one of this ui component libraries or uh ui uh tailwind css editors like shit, you got to pay attention to this licenses so they don't hit you with the, the OOP. <laughs> and once you start making some money, there's a dude waiting at, at your door like, yo, I was waiting for you at the door. You know what I mean? Like you don't want that dude. <laughs> yo, this is a meme. Oh, what's the name of that meme? Yo, you don't want this dude, bro, to be popping up on your... <laughs> yeah, let me see. Waiting at the door. Let me see. Waiting at the door, waiting for you at the door. Let me see. You don't want this this freaking guy to pop up on your timeline and be like, yo, you remember that 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 service you signed up for? <laughs> I was waiting for you at the door. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want this guy waiting for you at the door. <laughs> but anyways, guys, listen, I'm, I got a little bit cough. You know, got a little sick yesterday, uh, chilling in the pool late night. Uh, but yeah, man, listen, it's it's much love. Just please be careful. I'm I'm just warning. I don't want no beef with nobody. I'm not trying to shit on telling you why. I'm not gonna try to shit on any of this other services. I'm just letting my, my audience know who are people like me, uh, just to be careful and and look at the licenses. It, it might not be the service for you. Okay. Um, but again. Uh, <laughs> holla at me it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com again guys check out the description below uh pay attention to what we have in there there's gonna be a couple of cool links um again we're doing the practical php course right now we're building some really solid projects come through come hang out with your boy and yeah man i'll see you guys later all right peace